if we just go from um, you coming in again. The job of theatre director has in the past been dominated by the white middle class. So much better. Feel the difference. It's one of the many barriers Ola Ince has had to hurdle. When you are of my gender, my age, my race, um, it's seen as like, isn't this a good thing I'm doing rather than I'm employing you because you're great at what you do, which is odd. But then it also drives me to try and create a landscape for other people like me so they feel that they can make the work they want to make and that theatre is for them too. She was associate director on Tina the Musical before she'd even turned 30 and in just three years as a professional. You got that gift inside you, that voice. And the last big project was directing Letitia Wright at the Young Vic. No, I am a Roman Catholic, but master. But what? She's managed this with support from her working class mum and dad. He'd make me like watch films with him, um, and my mum would make me read books. And we'd rarely go to the theatre because it's so expensive, so maybe I'd go and watch a pantomime or a show like once a year. So it was, I think my fascination has just come from storytelling and loving books. Eventually. Ola's in rehearsals now at Donmar Warehouse, adding to a body of work that explores gender, race, power and oppression. I'm just looking for themes and issues and um, discussions that I think are new or fresh or exciting or alive or current. I'm not really thinking about provoking people. Um, I mean, I am thinking about questioning things but I'm not trying to upset anyone. This play, Appropriate, opens on the 22nd. After that, a film, animation, radio maybe. Any way you can reach audiences and challenge them to think differently. You're shaking things up. You are, aren't I you? I hope so. Yeah. I hope people feel rattled without being offended <laughs> by their thinking. It's not just gently rattled. Exactly. <laughs> with a smile on their face. Exactly. <laughs> we'll give you a nice foil blanket to leave with. <laughs> Wendy Howell, BBC <laughs> London.